Hey, good morning. Chris here with Atlantic Drain. This morning we're in Pickerington, Ohio, and we're going to be doing a sidewalk tunneling and pipe installation to the street. Choices for tunneling a sidewalk are a tunneling shovel, the Bosch hammer drill with an auger, or and a pressure washer with high pressure coming out of the nozzle. If, if it's gravel based here, we're going to go ahead and use the tunneling shovel. If uh, there's no gravel base and it's just clay underneath this sidewalk, more than likely I'm going to use this pressure washer. And those are the two that you may want to use here. The Bosch hammer drill and custom auger aren't readily available for most people. But if you want to see how the Bosch and the custom auger works, watch our how to tunnel a sidewalk for the professional contractor. All right, well, I've taken the liberty of getting this thing prepped up and checking to see if there's any gravel underneath of the sidewalk and it looks like there is I'm seeing evidence of it so it's probably going to be a manual sidewalk tunnel that pipe dug out using a pick there just a little bit underneath the sidewalk I'm going to see if I can't pull this old existing pipe out of there with a pry bar just going to stick it through the pipe here And I've punctured through the pipe and I'm just going to carefully pry on it see if it'll move nothing yet all right it's just starting to move I'm going to try not to bust out your hole puncture you know rip it out of the pipe so I'm prying against the concrete here it's slowly moving See if we can't pop that again. Slowly pry it out. This is great. So far, so good. coming out of there real nice. You can see here as I puncture through the pipe, I'm using the sidewalk as leverage to help pry that piece of pipe out. Also, you can use other tools as needed uh, to gain leverage for taking out that pipe. Here I'm using a pickaxe and just prying with enough pressure to move that pipe on out from underneath the sidewalk. So right now there's a three inch hole going through there, kind of, sort of. You can kind of see the light at the other end of the tunnel. That'll make it a little bit easier for us to use the tunneling shovel here. So you straddle the trench and you need a tunneling shovel. Put that tunneling shovel underneath your legs, get comfortable, and then you just want to kind of chip at it. I push it in and roll it with my wrists. Feel a little bit of gravel in there. This one's about a, I don't know, maybe 20, 80 mix. There's more clay under here than rocks. There's about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds of digging. And it's starting to widen up here. It's about four inches wide and maybe six inches through at this point. But you just keep on digging. Just roll 
flat shovel. You hammer it in there, not too hard. All right, I've done a little bit of investigating here and it's a lot more clay than it is rock. So I'm gonna do a little bit more with the tunneling shovel. Just to give you an idea of how to get it out of there, I might go up in there about this far. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the pressure washer. Since it's more clay than rock, it's just a little easier. You know, it'll just cut through that clay, push it out here to the street. Be sure to remember this technique if all you have is a tunneling shovel. Insert the tunneling shovel and twist side to side, periodically removing the gravel and clay you have loosened up underneath the sidewalk. Might not feel like you're getting anywhere, but you are. It's just a slow process. Another method that I'm going to show you for tunneling. The pressure washer. This one's 3100 PSI. And there's a lot of attachments, different nozzles that you can use. And for tunneling a sidewalk, you, you want to use the one that has the most power going in. And that would be the blast. It has the smallest opening there in the nozzle. Where the rest of these, it's just a little less pressure all the way to just kind of a light wash. So use the blaster. So when using the pressure water, it's pretty messy. It's going to cut through this sidewalk pretty quick though and uh, it's just very messy and muddy so I'm going to go ahead and put away I would recommend you do the same just get everything that you don't want to get muddy out of the way pressure washing under the sidewalk is best used when there's more clay than there is rock underneath the sidewalk If it was mostly gravel, I would recommend to you to just use the tunneling shovel. If you use a pressure washer when it's mostly gravel, it doesn't cut through the gravel. All it does is make a mess. You can see it's making short work of it. I probably stopped using the tunneling shovel about right here. And I'm already up into here. Very little effort. Pressure washer. Just the pressure washer blaster nozzle that's being used cuts through the clay and makes a small river of mud that flows out to the street. Periodically, go ahead and stick your tunneling shovel in there and get the gravel that's underneath the sidewalk that's been loosened up out of the tunnel and place it on the sidewalk on a piece of plastic. shovel now see if I can't get some of that mud I'm all the way through it I just need to make it four inches in diameter really tough with that Audi there the tunneling shovel all the way through there pull out the gravel and then twist the shovel to make sure there's four inch opening all the way around so I'm just reaming it a bit more at this stage of the tunneling I'm actually doing this in reverse. I'm pulling on the shovel handle while twisting my wrist and reaming the walls of the tunnel. And clean out the gravel. And my... Yeah, 
That's looking pretty good. You can take a look. So that's with pressure washer as well as the tunneling shovel. Pressure water, you know, that, that cut right through it. Probably five minutes to get through there, maybe ten. All right, once you have your sidewalk tunneled, you can go ahead and cut yourself a piece of pipe that'll fit underneath the sidewalk. And you know, I've made this one pretty long. This one's long enough to fit and maybe uh, about a foot on each side of the sidewalk. And then I've installed a sacrificial piece of, of uh, pipe here on this end at the bell end. And I've cut down laterally on the pipe in four spots so that I can taper the end of this pipe because we want to be able to fit that through our new tunnel under the sidewalk so you taper it ideally you would use duct tape I found some masking tape in the truck and you know I do this quite a bit so I also had this sacrificial piece already cut you just want to taper it down a little bit, squeeze it together, wrap some duct tape around there. In this case, it's masking tape. Then you want to cover the end of the pipe. Keep that stuff from getting in there. Keeps any mud from getting inside of there probably wouldn't need to use as much duct tape as i am masking tape but it's a little weaker so i use a little bit more all right once you have that little bit of a taper going on in there on the end of it you can put your pipe through always remember that the bell section of the pipe always faces towards the downspouts of the house if you don't install it with the bell down towards the street water can come out of the pipe there at the fitting but if you have it this way the water has to go into the bell and onto the next piece of pipe all right so let's go ahead and stick this in there It'd probably be pretty easy to just kick it through and i'm just barely tapping on it here because we made a nice tunnel about ready to come out the other end there you can kind of see it coming out there that sacrificial piece and you just tap it through you can always use your rubber mallet as well if it's a little bit difficult to use your foot and kicking it through I got it about half and half there so all I need to do now is take off this sacrificial piece of pipe and for today I'm just going to 90 this up out of the ground We've got, got it 90 up out of the ground. Just gonna make sure that the pipe doesn't move on us while we're installing it there by the street. So I'm sticking a shovel behind it. Helps keep that pipe that's been tunneled under the sidewalk just in the place you want it. Put your bell on there. I like to use the mallet whenever possible. Just tap it in. Okay, I'm starting to move my shovel. It's in there pretty good. Let's see if that'll fit down into that bevel. Oh yeah, not bad. I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain. Thank you for watching. And remember, it's easy once you know how.